Just ask any of those cool shredding hunks and they'll tell you the key to creating cool pentatonic lines is thinking outside of the box. <laughs> Hello children and welcome to a brand new edition of Weekend Wang Shop here with your good pal, Uncle Ben. As I'm sure you loyal Suckamaniacs remember, two weeks ago here on Weekend Wang Shop I announced a contest where you can win a free half hour of power Skype lesson with me. And uh, I really enjoyed watching your guys' entries that you've put out over the past two weeks. There was some really cool and fantastically amusing stuff. But much like being a Highlander, there can be only one. And I'd like to announce the winner of that contest at the end of this week's video. Before I get to that, me and my boy Arnold here have some pretty serious business to attend to, showing you guys this scalding E minor pentatonic lick, which goes all the way from the open position up into the 12th position. Mainly because I'm tired of hearing you play in that good old wanky blues box all the damn time. This lick could sound cool in any kind of E minor context, whether it be a rock song or blues, or even a metal song or something like that. This could work pretty well and it's pretty cool stuff. It's also a good way to show you how a scale is more than just a pattern. That's something I'm always talking about on my channel here is that I think a lot of guitar players get caught up in this notion that a scale is exclusively this fingerboard pattern that the boy Mel Bay showed him, which is total bullshit. A scale is a set of notes, you know, and I can express that set of notes anywhere on the board, even if it's outside of a very familiar box like the pentatonic scale, you know? But before we get to hogging on this sick lick, let's go ahead and hear this again at stepdad speed. And as always, you can find a full tab for this week's lick as well as pictures of my sick guitars and puppy dogs on my Instagram page. So go ahead and find be over there and find the tab for this week's lick, learn how to play it, and upload a video of you shredding it along with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. You can find me at Ben Eller Guitars. Alright guys, so contrary to what that nefarious bastard Mel Bay may have you think, the E minor pentatonic scale is not this. <laughs> If you learn a scale that way, all you ever learn is the pattern, and you can never play outside of that pattern. What you need to understand is that the E minor scale is a specific set of notes, which is E, G, A, B, D, E. That's it, just those five notes. That means that if you're wanting to play around with the minor pentatonic scale, the E minor pentatonic scale, I should say, outside of the usual box position, that means that you can play any E across the board, any G, any A, any B, any D and you're still playing inside of the scale even though you're not in that box. I feel like that's really important information that a lot of guitar players never really pick up. So I kind of designed this lick based around that idea to get you guys kind of traveling around that fretboard a little bit using those same five notes but not being in this good old open position box or the kind of 12th fret position box too. Okay, so here's what's going on with this lick. Again, everything that we're playing here is only going to contain those five notes that we talked about in the scale earlier, E, G, A, B, D. First part of the lick is going to start off here in the open position. I'm going to play my 3rd fret high E to open high E. Do the same thing on the B string, that's 3rd to open. Grab your 2nd fret on your G. And then what we're going to do is to play the open high E string. So that lick went. Next what we're going to do is move up into the next position of the scale here. I'm going to play the 5th fret high E followed by the 3rd fret high E, that's A and G notes. Then I'm going to play the same little pattern on the B string, 5th fret which is an E, 3rd fret which is G, and then play the 4th fret on the G string here, that's a B note, followed by the open high E. So, so far we have... Notice how the open high E string gave us time to shift up the neck. Same thing is going to happen here. After you hit that last high E string, you'll be traveling up the neck a little bit here to the seventh fret with your ring finger. This is a B note. Again, we're getting pretty far from kind of home base down here, but don't worry, Virginia, we're still playing the same five notes as before. I'm going to play the uh, seventh fret high E string. It's a B note, 
fifth fret high E, that's an A. I'm gonna play the eighth fret on the B string here, that's our G note. Fifth fret on the B string, that's an E. Seventh fret G, that's a D note. And another open high E. Every section of this kind of ends with the high E. So again, that last section is like this, starting from the high E string with seven five, B string eight five, G string seven, open high E. Now again, that open high E is gonna give us time to travel up here to the next position. I'm gonna play 10 and seven on the high E, that's the notes D and B. Next, I'm gonna play the B string here, frets 10 and eight, that's the notes A and G. Ninth fret G string here, that's an E note, followed by the open high E. So again, that was 10, eight. Oh, I'm sorry, that was not what it was. 10, seven. Then on the B string, 10, eight. Ninth fret G, open high E. And then the last section of the lick here is gonna jump up to the uh, 12th fret on the high E to 10th on the high E. That's E and D. Next on the B string, you're gonna play the same pattern here, 12 and 10, that's B and A. Then grab the 12th fret G, open high E. And then wrap this up by hitting that 10th fret high E string. I prefer with my ring finger so I can use these guys to help me bend and bend up one whole step so that you end on the root note of E. Just like that. So again, those positions, I'll run it through uh, real quick here. We're going three open, three open, two, open high E. Five, three, five, three, four, high E. Seven, five, eight, five, seven, E. Ten, seven, ten, eight, nine, E. 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, E. And then lastly, the 10th high E string with old Bendio on there. Cool stuff. So now that we're done with that, let's announce the winner of the Weekend Wank Shop one year anniversary Happy Wanksgiving half hour of power lesson contest of fun. I'd like to announce that the winner of the contest is Instagrammer and Suckamaniac Bandina Boy. Bandina Boy. Bandina Boy. He put up a really sick video of the Final Fantasy 7th Heaven lesson that I did a couple months ago, and I gotta say it warmed me to the bottom of my frigid heart. He played some Final Fantasy 7 stuff, he played some additional Final Fantasy 7 music, and then in his description for the video he talked about a whole lot of other Final Fantasy 7 stuff. And with the recently released gameplay footage of the Final Fantasy 7 remake, it's coming out for PS4, it was just a perfect storm of fucking awesome. I am beyond hyped about that game. I cannot wait to play it. I'm gonna buy a PS4 just so I can play that game. I'm just talking about Final Fantasy now. Anyway, he did a really good job and he had a really cool looking guitar too. So, Bandina, band in a band in a boy, whichever it is, please uh, step forward and claim your prize, my man. You did a really sick job. Be sure to drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com, and we will set up a time for us to get together and do some online wanking. Thanks so much to everybody else who entered the contest, though. I really enjoyed watching everybody's entries. There was some really good, really fun stuff in there that I definitely enjoyed watching. In fact, I like them so much that I'm going to add two runners up to the contest that I'm going to send a very special holiday ornament in my uh, really sick Fallout finish that I've created here. I did a couple of ornaments this year in that finish, and I'm going to send those out to a couple of runners up. First off is my man Lucas. You know who you are. Thank you so much, man. You always retweet my stuff and make a big deal about posting my videos online. I really appreciate that. I really enjoyed your entry. That was pretty flippin' sweet. Definitely dug that, man. Also be sure to drop me an email so I can get your address and mail you out a special holiday ornament of fun. Thanks so much, man. And the second runner-up is Suckamaniac Scaramucha, who I believe created an Instagram account just so he could enter this contest. Your entry was awesome. I definitely died laughing. Plus, you're playing what looked to be a really old RG550 in Desert Sun Yellow. That's freaking sweet. Really enjoyed watching your entry, man. That was hilarious and awesome. I definitely recommend everybody check his out. That was great. So, please
please drop me an email so I can get your address and mail you a little special something to brighten your holidays up. Thanks again so much to everybody for entering the contest. I have a great time watching your all's entries. Thank you guys again so much for watching and stay tuned next week for more cool stuff as well as a new upcoming This Is Why You Suck At Guitar episode. I've gotten a lot of requests for that stuff lately, so I'm going to pump out a new one for you guys here soon, so you guys can check that out and enjoy it. But anyway, stay tuned. Thank you guys so much. Cheers.